Robinson. Mr. Gavin Robinson. Oh, Mr. Speaker, and in thanking the Secretary of State for his statement, uh, may I just reflect that I think this is unprecedented in terms of political engagement a Northern Ireland trade dispute has had uh, from our government. Uh, and I, as the representative yeah, of Freeze Belfast, yeah. greatly appreciate not only the work thus far, but even the presence today of the Northern Ireland Secretary, the Business Secretary, the Business Minister, the Defence Procurement Minister, and the uh, Industry Industry yeah. Minister, and indeed the Foreign Secretary, uh, Mr. Speaker, who was present, showing just how much support there is politically for us in Northern yeah, Ireland. Should come over uh, to Northern Ireland really sometime and talk. I appreciate it. I was, however, Mr. Speaker, bitterly come. disappointed uh, by the, com uh, the comments they last come. week by the Commerce Secretary they Wilbur come. Ross, and I felt that his comments were not only belligerent, uh, but they showed, whilst the process continues, the political support at this early stage uh, for Boeing uh, in their dispute. Uh, there is deep concern about the political overtures uh, tied up with this ongoing issue. Can I ask the Secretary of State, um, having engaged thus far and seen that that was the inevitable outcome uh, of the engagement, how long it will be until we can assuage the concerns of those in Belfast and in Canada uh, that there are meaningful and genuine consequences in store, yeah, yeah. should there not be an adequate and a suitable resolution to this case. Yeah, yeah. Well, I uh, repeat my thanks and admiration for the, uh, the work uh, of the uh, Honourable Gentleman, who uh, is standing up for his constituents um, with, um, with vigour uh, and strength. Um, and I'd like to take the opportunity to pay tribute to, to the leader of his party, indeed um, uh, community leaders across uh, Northern Ireland, for the, uh, the united response that they've uh, made. Uh, we are disappointed um, not only with the uh, the response in terms of the proposed uh, tariffs, um, but with some of the, uh, the words that have been used uh, around this. Uh, it seems to me that the, uh, the case is overwhelming. We can demonstrate that uh, any uh, aid that has been given is not only completely in line uh, with international norms, uh, but is, uh, is consistent with the type of assistance that Boeing has had uh, over time. We expect to be able to, to demonstrate that uh, in a convincing way. Um, it's also the case that it, is, uh, it seems to be impossible uh, for, to establish detriment uh, to Boeing, given that they don't have a competitor aircraft. The, the stage uh, of, the, uh, uh, of the hearings is that um, Following the initial determination, there is then a further call for evidence, and the evidence that, uh, completely hand-in-hand uh, hand with the Canadians we will present, uh, will demonstrate this. Uh, and we look to the US to make sure that this is a rigorous uh, process uh, and uh, is not uh, politically uh, influenced. But we have been uh, very clear. The Defence Secretary, on a visit to uh, to the Northern Ireland uh, was very clear, as I have been, that this is not the behaviour we expect from a trusted partner uh, and could have implications for the, uh, the future relationship uh, of, uh, between Boeing uh, and the United Kingdom.